Okay. Good. Good. It's not your morning. <laughs> I I tried to vlog this morning, but I didn't have um my battery was low, so well, my battery the camera wouldn't even turn on. Then I realized it was because um my battery was I guess too low to power it on. So now I am in the car. I just came back from Home Goods and I went to Home Goods for one thing and of course I didn't buy anything remotely close to what I went there for. But I did find good stuff and that's the thing I hate about Home Goods. The Home Goods is one of those stores that there's always something. You're always like, ugh, you know, you can't just run in there. Ugh, these stores really know how to get you. They really know how to get you. If you can walk into, well, that's not true, because I have. I've walked into Home Goods and not bought something, but it's usually because I was extremely, 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 extremely focused on what I wanted. And they didn't have anything else. But not today. And I'll show you what I got when I get home. Because all stuff was stuff that was in my mental list of things that I wanted. Or at least things that I know I could use. Now I'm on my way to Wendy's because I'm kind of hungry. And. I'm just hungry and I obviously have a my head has been hurting for the last two days and I think it's because I'm dehydrated because I think I'm dehydrated and so I need to drink stuff which I have not been doing because I'm not a drinker I'm an eater so for me it's hard to drink just like even when I was working out, and I think it actually started that day that I took that um, those classes, because I didn't bring a water bottle with me. She told me that it's really important that I drink, and I'm one of those people, even when I work out, I might take a few sips every once in a while, but I'm not a drinker, so it it's hard for me to force drinks down my throat. Like, I never finish anything never it's very rare even things that I love I don't I never finish them so I try but I never do I'm just not a drinker I love to eat 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 and my mother was like that too and she suffered from dehydration all the time because of it and um and so I know I need to do it but it's also a trait of mine is that I don't do it and I need to do it because my head hurts and um, yeah it would probably help me a lot with my weight loss too if I was drinking a lot because when I lost weight the last time I did I drank a lot a lot of water a lot of everything but lately I just I don't know but I need to drink something because my head is hurting so I'm going to get me a double stack some fries because I haven't had fries in a while. And then I will get me, I don't know. Oh, they have the pretzel burger. Ah, they have the pretzel burger. Oh, they are just, oh, see? They have the pretzel burger. They got the pretzel burger. They got the pretzel burger. Ah, 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 ah. They got the pretzel burger. I knew it came out. It's like, are you serious? Cause I read it. Cause I was excited. Me and my coworker were like, "Oh, the pretzel burger, pretzel burger." <laughs> anyway, I know it. It doesn't take much. I'm telling you, it does not take much. I'm going to make you want to try some today. Yes. Can I have the quarter pounder pretzel bacon cheeseburger? Yeah, the combo? Yes, I want the combo. Yeah, good to drink. Um, can I have a Dr. Pepper? Small, medium, large. 
Um, medium. Medium's good. Right. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. Do you want to try your frosty cone today? A what? Like to try oh, a frosty, frosty cone. Yeah. Um, no. No, that's okay. That's a lot already. Thanks. Yeah, Thank you. That's a burger for that's a burger. Oh, I'm giving you a five. That is not gonna help you. <laughs> that is not what I meant. Yes. Thank you. You too. Okay, do you know how excited I am about the pretzel burger? Y'all don't understand how excited I am. Oh my god, I want to. If I had known, if I had known, I would have so gone inside. I'm so excited. The one by me did not have it. They looked at me like I was crazy. Like, where is the pretzel burger? Okay. Now I am going. Ooh, what are you doing? <laughs> Lord. Okay. I'm so excited. We got to go somewhere. Mm, I need to go to, believe it or not, even after I spent all the time in Home Goods, I need to go to Bed Bath & Beyond because I need to get filters. Brita filters for my um, my Brita thing. Um, yeah. So that's I always do that. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about the pretzel burger. I was gonna turn off the car, but it's too hot to turn off the car. So here is the pretzel burger. That's what it looks like. And the pretzel burger, I'm trying to turn off. This will turn off my air, won't it? Lord, no. I need my air on. See, my, ugh, my car is so weird. See? Oh, well, I already turned it off. And see, the funny thing is my radio doesn't go off until I open the door. It's annoying when I want it to go off and I need the air on so now I'm gonna burn up so now this is gonna be a quick review okay here is the bacon what is it called it's it doesn't say it's a pretzel bacon cheeseburger or something like that this is what it looks like this is the quarter pounder they also had a half pounder I was like lord I know I don't need all that okay it has okay this is the pretzel bun um, and then there's a patty, um, it looks like American cheese, bacon, some lettuce, a tomato, and some onions. So now we're going to try it. <laughs> I'm so excited. And burn it up hot. Oh! It's not burning up hot, but just, it's a little warm in here. It's good. This is good. Wendy does, Wendy's does really good with, um, burgers. I probably have cheese all over my chin. I almost don't care. But, you know, I'm not trying to be that trifling on the internet. But, this is good. One bite, this was really good. Ooh. Mm, this is delicious. This is absolutely delicious. 
there's enough of everything on here that you taste it. It's like, even there's, there's not a lot of lettuce, but there's still lettuce in here. There's a big hunk of tomato, and you taste it with every bite. Tons of cheese. Ooh, it looks like it's probably about two, two slices of cheese. It must be like some cheese sauce, too. Because there's definitely a slice of cheese, but then there's like some gooey stuff coming out. Oh, Ooh, Jesus. Oh, yes. This is delicious. <laughs> oh! Oh, I would so buy this again. This is, this is better than the habanero, even though I'd buy the habanero one again from McDonald's. But this one is delicious. Oh, my goodness. I could see me feeding for this. Oh. Ooh. Yes, I love this. Yeah, I have to get off the internet and finish it because this is, like, crazy. Let me get off here because I'm just, like, having a, an, an experience right now. Okay. I'm back in the car. I'm finishing my burger. This is so good. I had to put it down. I was like, let me put this down because I'm going to sit here and just have, like, an experience right here. So now I'm on my way to Target. Okay, Wendy's, this pretzel burger was an A+. Plus. It was an A+. Plus. It was, that burger is literally an A+. Plus. A+. Plus. A+. Plus. Two thumbs up for me. Ooh, that was delicious. I still have some more. I still have some more left. I'm just like, I'm at the point where I'm just like, let me just put this down. Let me put it down. Let me put it down. Because it was that good. I didn't vlog yesterday at all. I didn't even turn on a camera. I edited, and I think I uploaded. I know I say... The problem with me every day is... I, not that you guys care about all this, but I'm telling you anyways. The inner workings of a vlogger. <laughs> um, every day, I'm uploading, rendering, saving. You know, it's, it's always something. So it's like every day that I don't... <laughs> I don't know what I do half the time. I don't know... Because, like I told you, I thought I had uploaded a video that I hadn't done. I hadn't even saved it. Ugh. And saving it takes forever. I don't understand why it takes so long to save it. It takes so long to save it. You gotta... I know, export it from the camera. You gotta, um... Then you have to render it. Then you have to edit it. Then you have to save it in HD. Then you have to upload it. It's like you're always doing it. And that stuff takes hours. That's why when people... People who just watch don't get it if you don't produce. If you produce videos, you know how hard it is to do videos. It's like... You know, and then, oh yeah, you have to film. You have to film. That's another thing. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, I have to film too. Don't worry, I'm going to do an extensive haul of everything that I bought today. Especially after I come out of Target. Even though I'm not buying anything from Target that's haulable. It's like fiber gummies and stuff. Um, but I'll show you what I got from Home Goods and, um, Home Goods and um, Bed Bath & Beyond with my coupons. I used 120% and two fives. I used to hate fives because I was like, Ugh. but then when I thought about it, what? Well, one guy explained it to me. He was like, the fives are actually more valuable. Okay, these people are crazy. <laughs> All the stuff you see up in Target parking lot. Come on, cause I gotta go. You too. Come on, cause you're in my way. 
All these people, all these crazy people are in my way. Ugh. Okay, now I can't get out because you done got right behind me. Hold on, just wait, just wait. Ugh. Okay, well now you gotta come because you're in my way now. <laughs> okay, can you... Oh, these people are so crazy. It's like everybody just... I swear, I don't understand what people think is happening. Lord Jesus. Lord, please help me. I hate Target. I hate Target when everybody's out here. That's why at 2, 218 is not the time for me to be in Target. Okay? Because people act crazy like... If they have to wait five seconds for me to turn because I'm already in the lane, they're going to go crazy. It's like, what are you doing? It's like, relax, relay, release. 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 You got to watch that different world. Oh my God, that is my favorite different world ever. I know y'all like, how do we get to different world? That is, if you know, if you watch a different world, you know that one. And that one was so funny because that was the one. See, <laughs> that was the one where um, where Whitley was leaving, um, was dating was dating Dwayne, and Julian had come back from his job in D.C. Um, and they were moving to Paris, and you know she was like she was finally breaking up with him even though they had broken up like two years prior oh that was one of my favorite different worlds ever relax relay release relax relay release and debbie allen was the um psychiatrist she's like girl i don't have time for this she's like relax relay release relax relay release relax relay release and then she gets up um she sees Julian and she's like, relax, lay, release, relax, lay, release, relax, lay, release, relax, lay, release, relax, lay, release. Oh my god, it was so funny. <laughs> that, oh, I gotta watch that. I gotta go home and watch that. Oh, those are good. I know, it, it. <laughs> But that's how I feel. And it was funny because I was doing that at work one day. I was like, just relax, relay, release. I'm like, come on, do it with me. Relax, relay, release. Relax, relay, release. Relax, relay, release. Relax, relay, release. They're like, you're crazy. I'm like, I know, but it's it's all good. You know, earn it. Own it. Own it. Okay. Ugh, it is hot in here. I got to go. I'm eventually going to finish this sandwich. I love it so much. I'm just like trying to savor it. Okay, where's my purse? I'm about to die of, like, heat stroke up in here. <laughs> heat stroke! Okay. I'm not buying anything interesting from Target today. But, um, if you want, I can show it to you. <laughs> I guess I could haul that, too. Even though it's not as interesting as the other stuff. But, I'll do it anyway. Okay, tonight's dinner is my um, fish stew. It's really good. I had some this morning for breakfast, and then I was like, oh, I need to eat some more of this. So I'm going to eat this for dinner, and then ice cream for dessert. Yes. Okay, here is part of my haul. Excuse the messiness on the floor. I don't even know what that is. Oh, I know what that is. Anyway. So, um, I'm going to do a haul of what I bought today, and one is this, which is, um, I don't even know how to describe it, but it's like this really rolly thing, and I don't know if you guys remember when I did videos in 2012, but one of my coworkers had this rolly that I used to carry up all my stuff that I was donating um, to the homeless family. And she let me use her Rolly, and I bought one, and I'm so excited. And it's purple. They also had a green one, but I like this one better. And that one was um, 
that one had a little bit of a mark on it and I was like unless they're gonna give me something off I wasn't gonna worry about it but um it contains everything I bought today and it's ridiculous how filled out it is but I bought this at home goods and it wasn't that expensive it was but it was really nice and that's why I like it and I'm so excited about it because um, I have a granny cart because I believe in granny carts especially when I buy groceries um, but this is better when I'm not buying like a whole bunch of stuff this is like perfect so anyways let's go inside and see what I bought today okay I'm going to just randomly do this stuff so I'm not gonna like tell I'll just tell you where I bought it and everything okay first I bought um, this which is a dish drying rack um, I have a dish rack but the um, bottom of it was like getting gross and grimy and I found this and I already have one that looks exactly like this and um, but I wanted another one and it's fabric and it dries stuff really quickly and it's actually underneath my drying rack so it just kind of absorbs the water and that's it and the best part about it is that you can um, put in the washing machine and wash it so I just bought a second one because the other one it's ready to go in the washing machine so and it I buy the XL one because my dish rack is huge um, but you know the smaller one is better for people who don't accumulate as many dishes as I do <laughs> and I bought this at Bed Bath & Beyond um, something else that I bought at Bed Bath & Beyond is like this can and it's called a double wall drink spill proof drink thing I don't know it looks like a can of soda but it's actually a um see it even has a little thing I love this I thought this was so neat and see I this is what gets me it's like gimmicky stuff like this I love this Ugh, just the thought of this just makes me happy so anyways it looks like a can it looks like a um you know a can and it even has fake nutritional facts called cantritional facts it's great I love this so I'm gonna start you I'm gonna try to use it and see how it you know how it works actually but it's really kind of cute I thought it was cute so I kept that and of course I got that also at Bed Bath & Beyond okay something else I bought at Bed Bath & Beyond see I went there for this but somehow I was wind up picking up all kinds of crazy stuff um, the next thing I bought was this thing called Squeezy Freeze, and it's basically an instant slushy maker. And basically what you do is you put any drink inside of it, and you squeeze it, and then it becomes a slushy. And I'm like, oh my goodness, I have to have this. Because I love icy things. I mean, ugh. I was so excited when I saw this. I was like, really? Like, and I told the girl, I said, I came in here for one thing. And I came, and she was like, I know, it happens all the time to everybody. It's not just you. I was like, okay, because I was just having issues. Because this looks so cute to me. So, I'm going to try this out. So, don't worry. I'll tell you guys all about it when I finally do use it. Okay. And then something else that actually, no, this is what I went in there for was this this and that I was gonna get the drying rack and the Brita filters I always buy my Brita filters from there because I always buy the big pack of them so that is all I got from Bed Bath & Beyond then I went to oh oh no I got this too the skinny almond flavoring um, everybody has hazelnut and you know I'm allergic to hazelnut and so I'm trying to not use hazelnut flavoring so that I will stop getting used to it so I can eventually just eliminate it from my taste buds entirely and so um, when I saw this one I was like oh I have to have it because um, it's very hard to find almond flavored things everything is usually hazelnut and so when I do find it I just have to buy it and this is this um i'm gonna use this because i used to have a k-cup that was um for my keurig that had um almond flavored um coffee but it's very hard to find i've only seen it like one other time and so you know this is just a perfect thing for me to use instead so that's everything i bought from bed bath and beyond 
Um, I'm trying. I'm trying. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to speed up because this shouldn't be that long. Okay, what I bought at um, Target. Okay, this is my Vitron C. The, my Target stuff is real boring. Um, my gummy fibers. I believe in these gummy fibers because, you know, I believe in making sure I have lots of fiber in my diet. Um, boring stuff like liquid Drano that I keep in my house because... Um, I rinse my hair in the shower and I don't know how people do it when they wash their hair in the shower all the time I can't do it. My drain is always filled with my shedding hair So I don't I just I'm amazed that people can wash their hair in the shower because I'm like my hair is everywhere. So I Lit I mean, I, I'm serious. I need to buy stock in this stuff because just rinsing my hair is just like after about two or three weeks of it um, I have to um open up my drain again so um you know y'all that are can do it are great okay i'm gonna try to do all my target stuff because that's like boring stuff um scrubbing bubbles flushable wipes i bought some garnier fructis sleek and shine anti-humidity smoothing milk because um even though i stay away from stuff with silicones in it and this clearly has silicones in it my hair has been absorbing all this water from all the humidity so i was just like i need to do something and um because it's not holding any kind of definition or anything and it's fine except it just looks crazy it would be different if it was like just straight or something but it just turns into like one big cotton ball -y mess so i'm going to just try something else for the summer to get um just try to eliminate some of the frizz um did i is there anything else in here oh i bought um this which is the um garnier fructis clean and pure gel this to me on my hair is comparable to Unky Fun uncle funky's daughter um curly magic i love that stuff but it's really expensive and i found that the customer service for Uncle Funky's daughter isn't that great. So when I found this, I just fell in love with it. And I think it's a very good, cheap alternative to that product. It's not quite that uh, that product, but it's pretty close. I bet you if you, and I might try this, infuse some oil in this, this would essentially be that product. But it's awesome. It works really well. It has the same overall consistency. And I love what it does to my hair. So that's another reason why I bought this. Because I know what this does on my hair. Um, so I wanted to try this again. And then I think that, yeah, that's all I got from Target. So, you know, not really interesting stuff, really. It's kind of boring. And then everything else I bought from Home Goods. Now, of course, like I said, my big thing I don't know you can't really see it but I'll show you show it again probably when I move it back to the car but I also bought um this which is um some shower gel or they call it a foaming bath cream and this was only $5.99 how much was the regular price $12 Ooh, really I don't know this one is um what is this one? Cocoa butter or shea butter? I think karate is um, shea butter, I think. Um, yeah, shea butter. And this one is cocoa butter. And it's just the same thing. You know, I love shower gels. And so, you know, hey, why not? I, I have been hard about buying this, though. Because I was like, I need shower gel like I need a hole in my head. But I know that um, this will keep me from buying shower gel for a long time. Because I also bought another shower gel. I bought this one is huge and it's called pure and basic and it's bath and body wash and it's in the scent tropical paradise and there was a few of them and I this was the only one I liked the smell of because it wasn't though it was tropical I don't like sweet smells I kind of like more um, muskier smells if that makes sense more savory stuff than um, sweet and this was perfect. It was just, it, it has this great smell. I love it. 
it still smells tropically but just not as um sweet uh, something else I bought at Target I forgot about is my um, Kinky Curly Knot today. And I haven't been using this in a while and I decided to restart using it because um, it's a really good detangler that works on my hair fabulously. I don't know why I stopped using it. I think it was because I found things that were cheaper but they're water based. And you know what I'm trying to do is kind of eliminate all this water in my hair because that's what's making my hair all cottony. It's like all my products are based water based and I'm piling on all this water 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 and then wondering why my hair is one big cotton bally mess in you know 98% humidity so I'm gonna start using this as both a leave-in which it is and a detangler so we're gonna see how this works um, kinky curly knot today is not water based the first ingredient is actually let's see if we can show you through the camera is um, organic mango fruit extract matter of fact I'm trying to see there is no water in here the only um, yeah there is no water in here which is great for me because again I need to block out as much water as humanly possible so I'm excited about that so yeah I bought that at Target too. sorry it's just like this bag is just like one big pit that's why I love this I'm like so in love with this bag Okay, then I bought, everything else I think is food based. Um, I bought just some coarse sea salt because you guys know as much cooking as I do. I like having coarse sea salt because you use less of it than you do when you have the um, finer salt. So I want to use that because I don't really like salt. I'm, I'm not a big salt eater. I didn't grow up eating a lot of salt. So I have to be careful with that. Um, this just sounds so amazing. It's champagne, garlic, honey, mustard, pretzel dip. I was like, for real? Oh my goodness. I was, I just have to have this. I was like, this is just like the most exciting thing ever. <laughs> I was like, oh, I have to have this. Um, this was $4.99. And that's what I love about home goods is that their stuff is so inexpensive. This this big thing of sea salt was um, $2.99. Oh yeah, and the shower gels were both $5.99 and then this one was $7.99 for this big um, thousand mil, thousand mil, goodness gracious. And these are both 500 mil, so goodness gracious. I'll be, I shouldn't need shower gel until Christmas, right? And then last but not least, I think is, yeah is I thought I bought something else mm, I thought I did oh maybe not I don't know anyways um last but not least is smoky um paprika chipotle seasoning and it says for chicken tacos beans and more and featuring I've been making tacos lately I was like oh this would be perfect to um use um, I have to be careful with spices because you guys know that I'm gluten I'm gluten intolerant and a lot of spices tend to have gluten in them and if you look at the ingredients and one of the things that I picked up today I actually had to put back because I actually looked at the ingredients and it contained soy and wheat and so I have to be very careful with spices because this is where the hidden gluten is that um, usually is what hurts me the most and this one has nothing crazy in it it's all just stuff just spices um there's no like any msg or anything in it so love it so that's what i'll try to use in my um tacos and see how that goes so anyways this is my big pile of stuff that i bought today it's ridiculous i know i know I know, I know, I know. I know. That's how I feel too. I'm looking at like, really? But yeah, I know. <laughs>